Hey friends, uh, uh, I'm MJ from IMO Customs and today we present before you this uh, great looking motorcycle. Uh, it has been raining since uh, last uh, few days and uh, somehow we are lucky to shoot this video. Uh, this motorcycle is primarily a Thunderbird uh, 350cc uh, which has been modified into what you can see today. Uh, the first observation of uh, this motorcycle is this lovely uh, peanut tank. Uh, it has uh, the side identification which gives an extra profile to it. Along with it, uh, the, the wheels that we have chosen is, uh, is 1918 which is the standard size. But we have uh, changed the uh, lacing of the wheels. Uh, to a star type uh, 80 spokes uh, pattern. The front tire is a Ralco uh, 100 uh, mm tire and the rear one is a 120 mm Ralco tire. The same big block pattern follows in the front as well as in the rear. Uh, the headlight of this motorcycle is a LED uh, headlight uh, uh, which is a very unique uh, looking uh, headlight. It is not the common ones which you see uh, in uh, day to day market. Um, this motorcycle uh, is all about elegance and simplicity. If you see the front mudguard and the rear mudguard, they are really very simple and very clean lines uh, to them. Uh, they have been, uh, the rear mudguard if you see has been fitted with uh, a chrome side profile. And uh, um, the front mudguard has been fitted with, uh, with uh, two uh, bolts which uh, get attached to the shock absorber itself. Uh, the front uh, triple tree assembly has been broadened so that we, we get a nice broad look to this uh, motorcycle. Uh, this allows us to incorporate a uh, you know, bigger tire as well as a clean mudguard to it. Apart from it, uh, if, you, if you notice the exhaust of this motorcycle, this is a Swagman's exhaust. The bike has a lot of uh, brass embellishments. If you notice the tank cap, uh, if you notice the handlebar uh, weights, if you notice the caps of the shock absorbers, they are all made of brass, uh, lathe machined and then uh, laser engraved uh, to, to suit the customer's requirement. Uh, it has a lot of personalization involved uh, in form of uh, writing as well as in form of uh, uh, the laser engravings. If you notice this number 4, this is the lucky number of the person. Similarly, any of our motorcycles can be personalized and customized as per your taste. Speedometer of this motorcycle is a digital speedometer. Uh, it's a single speedometer which, which displays uh, all the information on the motorcycle, including uh, the RPM, the speed, the uh, fuel capacity. The, the grips of this uh, handlebar has been uh, leather wrapped uh, to provide extra comfort and, uh, and uh, uh, give it a nice vintage touch to, uh, uh, touch to it. Out and out the painting of this, uh, this motorcycle is blacked out. Um, uh, the mudguards are uh, painted in glossy black. The side covers, uh, if, you, if you notice, have been uh, painted in matte black. You can also notice the nice uh, you know, handwork done to the side uh, covers. These are the uh, you know original Royal Enfield side covers which comes with Thunderbird. We have we have just made this identification which gives an extra profile and a and a feel of uh, handcrafted uh, stuff. If you notice the paint job on the tank, it is done in red metal flakes, uh, and then on top of the red metal flakes, we have coated it with two layers of red candy. Along with that, we have done the lettering and everything in gold uh, leaf and then pinstriped it with uh, red uh, uh, lettering enamel. Uh, the engine has been kept in a combination of black and uh, chrome. Uh, previously we were thinking of keeping it uh, out and out black but later we decided to keep it a combination of chrome and black because this bike has little bit of chrome and little bit of black here and there. Out and out uh, uh, this bike feels very comfortable. Thanks to the lovely seat uh, done by our seat guy. Friends, thanks for watching this video. And for uh, many such more videos, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, if you want to know more about such motorcycles, then please shoot us an email at contact.imer at the red gmail.com or log on to www.imercustoms.com. Thank you.